Good morning, everybody, from north of Oklahoma City. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, welcome here. Stick around, I hope I can convince you to hit that subscribe button before you go. We're in Oklahoma City and I'm headed north up to where I'm from, in Canada, up I-29, straight towards the Winnipeg region. I got another two days of driving to get up there. I picked up a load near Houston, Texas. It's gonna get colder as we go north. I've been enjoying this warmer weather down here, but my body at the same time is confused because it's already been climatized to the cold weather up north. Went down south, and now it doesn't know what's going on. We've been running nights most of this trip because my delivery on my last load that I delivered until Laredo delivered at 9 p.m. at night. So it sort of got me onto a nighttime schedule that I'm completely okay with because I like driving at nights. I'm a night owl. I prefer to be up late into the night as long as I go to bed before the sun comes up. That's sort of my rule. But I like driving into the night. Traffic is quieter less on the road, less it could go wrong, but at the same time, there are risks, like if you break down, you're gonna have to pay that service fee for someone to come out after hours, right? So gotta keep that in mind. Let's get out there on the road. I wanna get home. Home is not getting any closer with me sitting here. Time to go. Lights on. Double check that my trailer's attached. Brakes work, brakes release. Wonderful, we're ready for the day. Crosswalks 
bikes at those intersections there. I didn't see him there right away either, but I did see him in time. That's what matters. Here I am off duty. I am not working. It's coffee time. Okay, let's take my summary. Ooh, so I have eight hours and one minute left on my 14 hour clock. So if I take my half hour here, I can drive for another eight hours, but I lose that one minute. So we could make this our half hour. I mean, I wonder if they got showers here. Check my app. If I can have a shower here, I will take my half hour and uh, shower up and then 
go. But sometimes these truck stops that have been converted to a Flying J, sometimes they don't have the same shower, so not the same system. I'll find out. Let's see. We are in Newton, Kansas. Does not have showers on the app here as far as I can see. So I'd have to go in and check. I bet they do have showers in there. But... You know what? No, this is... I can't decide. We could make this our half hour, but I don't really want to. I just wanted a quick coffee. I was going to do my half hour further down the road. What do you guys think? Because it's daylight. I wanted to be driving during daylight hours as much as possible and then do my half hour once the sun went down. Decisions, decisions. Josh, make up your mind. No, this is not going to be my half hour. I'm going to run in there, run out. We're going to go down the road. We're going to do our half hour down the road. I don't want to lose that one minute. You never know. I might need it. That was a waste of my time. I'm actually kind of upset. They wasted my time. I shouldn't have pulled in here. It's not actually a pilot. It's something else. The, the gasoline pumps say Route 66. Inside it says like Roadworks or Road Ranger. Road Ranger, I think. It was filthy, filthy. And everything was out. There was no food ready. The coffee cream was just gone. There was nobody in the whole store. I walked around in there for 10 minutes. Not one employee anywhere. I don't know where they were. So I, I found some powdered cream. I don't like using that stuff, but I used that, whatever. I was just gonna make a coffee. First of all, they don't have the Pilot Coffee here. They got some other no-name brand. So I was like, ah, oh, shoot, I was disappointed again. First of all, everything was filthy. Couldn't get anyone to help me find cream. They had no cream, they were out. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining here, but don't stop here. I poured myself a cup of the coffee, took a sip and literally went over to the sink, spat it out, poured it all down the sink, threw my cup in the garbage and walked out. It was disgusting. I don't know if, the, if something was like rotting inside the coffee maker or something, but. Oh, one second here, I gotta, I gotta take care of this. This is. Oh, like, where is it? Mouthwash. I, uh, see this Pilot Flying J pumps, but that's all it is, just Pilot fuel. Nothing else here is Pilot, definitely not the coffee. disappointed don't put a pilot sign up by the road and then when we get in here expecting to see all the regular pilot stuff like a pilot coffee and pilot cleanliness have none of the pilot stuff very disappointed Newton Kansas disappointed I guess we can't all be great man okay let's get comfortable I'm getting out of here. Shaking my head. Shaking my head. Glad we're not making this our half hour break now. Man. I could have been down the road like 20 miles. Well, that's the way you learn, right? funny I used the analogy of a fish caught by a lure. They sure did lure me in. Just like a fish. I chomped down on that hook. It reeled me in but I got away. Oh jeez. Man the parking lot. Man. Alright. We're going to put that on the blacklist. Not going back there. We're at the petrol stopping center at the corner of US 81 and I-80 in Nebraska. And I found a blue beacon with no lineup. Probably because it's not the best day to be washing the truck, but this truck badly needs a wash. Whether or not it's the best day for it is irrelevant at this point. It needs to be done. If you don't maintain your truck, it'll start falling apart. Which one do we want to go in? Probably this first one.
then they put salt right outside here to drive out onto. Oh, guys, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I guess they put that there so you don't slip if you get out here, but yeah, they laid salt down, right? Gotta drive right out onto it. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. They did a good job. They had no one else in there, so they spent some good time on it. Usually you're in and out in like 10 minutes. They spent like 15, 20 minutes, twice as long. I'm not complaining because they did a good job, but they did the trailer too. Usually I just do the truck. Yep. Oh, that's so much better. That's nice. I feel a thousand percent better right now. Let's make sure all my bezels are still on here. I see one over here that might. No, that's still there. Good. Sometimes they blow off in the wash. Well, I'm ready to rock and roll now. Except I just washed all the salt off my truck and now I'm gonna have salt on my truck again. So the Blue Beacon manager and the team came out. I guess they saw me looking at the ground with all the salt here, right? And I asked them, I said, well, we just washed all the salt off my truck, and now I got salt all over my tires again. It's gonna go right back on my truck. And they said, yeah, we understand, but they have to put the salt down as a policy here. Otherwise, people sue them when they fall. Who does that? You get out of the truck in wintertime, it's icy, you fall. How is it their fault? Watch where you're stepping, get some proper boots. Uh, without even thinking, I was like, that is the most American thing I've heard all day. <laughs> I did, I'm like, I don't mean any offense by that. <laughs> I'm just like, why does everybody sue everybody here? Maybe that's just a stereotype. It probably happens in Canada too. Everybody sues everybody. People are, nobody wants to take responsibility for anything. That's the problem, both sides of the border. It's not really an American thing. It's a Canadian thing too. It's a worldwide thing. Now you step out of your truck, it's slippery. It's winter time. I think that's self-explanatory. But if they don't put signs up everywhere that, hey, it's slippery, watch out. And if they don't put salt down for you and you slip, you fall and you bruise your elbow, what, now you have grounds to sue them? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So they apologized, but they, it's a part of their policy. I bet you someone sued them. I bet you that's why they're putting the salt down. Cause yeah, they felt bad. They're like, we have to, we have to, otherwise we get sued. I wonder what the story behind that is. Who did that? Was it you? It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. Who does that? Slips and falls. Anyway, <laughs> truck is clean. Let's go. I don't know how long it's going to last. The roads are a little bit wet. But hey, at least you saw it. There's proof. Uh, 
there's all the trucks. Yep. That's nice. And we made it to the end of the day. Lived to truck another day. That was a long day. It felt like a long day. We spent most of the day on US 81. That's probably why it felt a little bit longer. Uh, it wasn't that bad. I thought there'd be more little towns and stuff to go through, but it worked out. It was a shorter route, quicker route, and there was no tolls on it. I got to avoid that Kansas Turnpike and save 40 US dollars. I wish I would have remembered that last time because uh, I knew that. I knew you could go around that turnpike by taking 81 down and 81's actually shorter too. Your GPS will tell you that it's longer because it'll take a little bit more time, but the distance is shorter. But time-wise, they're very close to just taking the interstate all the way down because it, 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 you don't have to go all the way around to the east. It sort of just goes north, straight south. US 81 used to be the main international route that went from Canada down to Mexico before they built the interstates. There was US 81. Uh, so it's the original. It's a two-lane highway for a lot of it, but they've actually twinned quite a bit of it. I remember it being two-lane the entire way down, and now it was practically four-lane freeway for like three-quarters of it, so it, it wasn't that bad. And there were some towns you gotta go through, yeah, but you don't have to pay tolls. That's the way I went. So we made it up here into South Dakota. We're back on Interstate 29. What did I say? Exit 62, exit 63? Nice little truck stop here, and from here we can get home in one day. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and join us because tomorrow we're going to head home.